Hi everyone, so once again I'm home alone and uh, I normally wait for the seasons then I sort of disturb all my friends and I ask them for the festive meal. This time around I'm not going to ask anyone, I'm going to do my own restaurant standard biryani with no MSG, with no added unwanted jargon. It's the cleanest, coolest, easiest mix ever. That's from Noor. And this is the biryani mix and it's priced at 80 rupees only. So I have to just follow three easy steps. With the 12 natural ingredients I get all the flavours I need. So first I'm going to put my chicken, I've cleaned it. I'm just going to let it marinate a little bit in this amazing powder. There we go. So I'm going to bit of a stir there. And I'm going to put some chilli powder to it. I like it spicy so I'm going for it. And a little bit of water. Half a cup is fine. Right, I'm just going to let this sit in the corner for a bit. Now while this is sitting, what I'm going to do is my prep. You know how I always like ghee? Ghee really adds the flavour. I'm just getting some basic things in. You know, the rum paste for some flavour. A little bit of garlic. Some, I put some cinnamon stick, I'm putting some rumpe colour. I uh, put some garlic. I love a lot of rumpe. Little bit of ginger, just to add some flavour there. Some green chilli. Right. Let's stir this up. And let's let this magic happen inside. I'm going to pop my onions as well. While that's happening, I'm going to add some coconut oil. You know, biryani is a heavy meal. What I'm really excited about is the fact that I get to sort of roast some kaju and uh, burn some, uh, like fry some onions to add the crunch to it. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit. Well, I have a carpenter tree in my house, so I will put it. And you let that all fry. And then goes the chicken into the fire with the amazing biryani mix. Make sure you take all the ingredients in, give it a nice stir. What I'm trying to do is just trying to keep the chicken at the bottom and the rice on top. I'm going to let it cook through so that you get the flavour all the way to the rice. So I'm just going to put some salt. I'll put that as well. Turmeric powder so that the rice gets a little bit of colour. I'll just let that fry for a little bit because I like my chicken crispy a little bit. I've just let it fry and I'm just going to add the rice. You know the good basmati is always good. So I put two cups of rice, so I'm going to put four cups of water and I'm just going to let that baby cook. That's about it. Now we just sit and wait until my biryani is ready. All right, so I can smell the aroma. I'm telling you, it smells just like Walking into a professional restaurant, I'm so proud of myself. I can't wait for my friends to try this. Um, they're going to be here very soon. I'm just going to open this. I know it's ready. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That smells so good. All right. So, everything that I put inside is just one pot. Everything is ready. But I just want to fancy it up a little bit. I'm going to boil some egg. I'm going to garnish it with some roasted kachu and some tempered onion to give that nice authentic flavour. Alright, so I'm going to just off the fire and take this out. I'm just going to get my final prep done and I'm going to see you in a bit after I plate it. Okay, so I'm going to garnish the little treats that I'm going to sprinkle on top. That's the best part of a biryani. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, ghee into that goes. Let's nicely fry some onions till it's nice and brown I'm going to now fry some kaju it's the best part in the biryani it is just nice and crispy on the side and now it's the moment of truth so I'm going to sort of press it down and sort of put it up so it looks very restaurant standard. So a little bit of rice at the bottom, just to give that frame for the egg to sit on. 
then you put one egg right in the center then I will cover it up with rice and chicken and this is perfect for one person if they like to eat more they can come for seconds and my friends do not know the secret that I'm using here about the whole no biryani mix they just think I'm cooking it from the start so I'm going to surprise them a little bit and then reveal the secret it's good no to share the secrets with others best thing I know how to do is flip it put it right in the center there keep it up you know tap on the sides voila right so as you can see the egg is right in the middle there it's a little surprise that they get you can garnish it with some kaju and I like some fried onions as well to add that nice flavor there you go and my professional biryani is done and I I think I should dig in right actually cook up a biryani. I'm super excited to try it. Um, I'm gonna try it with a little bit of garnishing. I'll attack the egg later. Mm. Wow. I'm so not dining out. I'm gonna be cooking every day. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. Mm. That's great. I can't wait to feed my friends. I'm gonna see you with another cool edition to one of these. Till then, happy eating, it's a wrap.